What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to play some Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how you should spend your crystals that you earn in the game or else buy with your real life money. And a lot of people waste these crystals buying the wrong things and we're going to try to make it to where you guys don't make those same mistakes and I've made those mistakes myself until I learn better. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, so whenever you're playing the game you'll earn crystals through out different ways the main way is through the squad arena because if we go into the squad arena you'll see that the prizes here you know you can get into the hundreds of crystals earned a lot of people get up into the top 10 on their server and they're earning you know between what is it 250 and 500 crystals every single day that's a lot of crystals uh, in the Galactic War, every third battle that you do, you'll get one of these purple chests, and that will have crystals in it as well. Whenever you complete a mission for the first time, you're going, or you're going to get crystals from that. So there's just lots and lots of ways uh, of getting crystals. Uh, but the thing is, is it is a limited resource if you're not spending money. And... Uh, so that makes it to where you need to be smart about it now if you're going to spend money let's go ahead and look at this uh let's go to buy more uh the recommended way to actually buy crystals is by doing this daily crystal booster for 21 days on the left side here uh you'll see that it, it's actually pretty cheap in order to do it this way it's like a subscription to the game if you want to look at it that way uh because a lot of games offer it like a monthly kind of thing where you get these bonuses and this way you're actually uh paying for a 21 day supply of crystals and you'll get them every single day with uh i think uh yeah 100 bonus crystals granted upon purchase so that's going to be uh, fast crystals and a steady supply over 21 days and you might as well look at it as uh, spending you know I think it's like ten dollars in order to get that so spending ten dollars on a subscription to the game for a month and I've never been against uh, subscribing to games so that's how you know these companies are able to provide these games to us and for us to be able to have all the fun that we have is by making some money so if you want to spend a low amount of money and get a steady stream of crystals that's the way to do it uh but if you're wanting to spend a whole lot more you know you can buy one of the crystal packages and you know f flood the company with some of your hard-earned money all right so where should we spend these crystals now the most common place uh that people will spend it is in the store here they will buy these individual packages here uh the most popular one that people spend on is these chromium packs uh, the Mega Pack in particular, they'll save up their 2,520 crystals. Buy this pack, they, uh, they'll get a guaranteed character. The problem with that is, is that it's actually a bad purchase because the chances that you're going to get a character that you're really needing is pretty slim because there's a lot of characters in the game and this would be a pretty bad investment overall and i've actually made the the mistake of buying some of these other packs at times uh take for instance i needed jedi in order to do one of the events so i started buying these individual packages to get jedi it turned out that i unlocked a jedi guardian and it wasn't i wasn't able to get enough uh crystals in order to spend on it uh well shards for the even the guardian in order for it to be very efficient at all uh not only that but the guardian sucks and um yeah I, it got me nowhere i ended up spending five thousand crystals on these jedi packs and completely wasted my crystals and it was a very hard lesson to learn there so don't spend it on those individual packs guys go ahead and do this upcoming Thing that I'm about to talk about and that is refill your energy okay whenever you're first starting the game uh, you're on a fresh server and you're really trying to get a jump start going uh, refreshing your normal energy is a very good way of doing things uh, this will give you a, a basically a supercharge in getting your account going uh, getting uh, a lot of these characters on hard mode on farm so you can get the shards uh, it's just a really good way of playing the game and uh, if you end up having enough crystals 
uh, in the Katina battles start opening up, you probably want to refill your Katina energy as well. The problem is, is that Katina energy is quite a bit more expensive. It's a hundred crystals each time. Uh, but once you buy it twice, after that, it goes up to 200 crystals for the day. So you don't want to refill more than twice on the energy or the Katina, uh, the regular energy or the Katina energy. If you refill more than that, it's going to cost you a lot more crystals and just not going to give you the bang for your buck. All right. So, uh, once you get going in the game pretty good and you're, you know, in the sixties, maybe seventies, uh, eighties of levels, uh, you're probably going to want to not refill your normal energy anymore uh you'll probably just focus on refilling your katina energy because you'll be spending it between katina battles in order to get shards for your characters so you can farm up these car uh, characters to seven stars or else in the mod battles uh and mod challenges and stuff so that you can get mods for your characters uh the katina energy is super super important uh it's it's like the most uh i mean way better than the normal energy in my eyes as soon as the game starts getting in the later stages so that's where you want to spend your uh, your hard-earned gems that you've gotten through playing the game don't spend it on the store don't spend it on anything else go straight to the katina battles get your characters uh Get some shards for your characters, refill the energy, do it again, refill the energy, do it again, uh, but don't refill more than twice in a day because it's just going to rob you of your crystals and you'll go broke pretty fast. Alright, so make sure that you're managing your crystals though. Don't spend them too fast everywhere. Uh, it's pretty easy to start refilling energy on the normal mode and then refilling your Katina energy and you're not earning that much uh crystals because you're not very high in the squad arena or something like that so make sure that you pump the brakes at a certain point you might want those crystals for something else at another time uh something that a lot of veteran players will do is they'll go to the shipments and they'll actually spend their crystals on a particular item in order to get their gear level up now this isn't really recommended but if you're needing a particular item that it's been pretty stingy on uh, dropping parts for you, go ahead and snag it up if you like. Just uh, try to really judge how often you need to do that because uh, it's really easy to blow all of your crystals just on one particular item, uh, one after another, and it's, it's just going to break you in the long run. So, yeah, as long as you're filling up your Katina Energy, uh, throughout the gameplay, especially in the later levels, you should be pretty good because that will speed up your progress quite a bit uh, with your shards and mods. So, there you have it guys. That's exactly where you want to spend your gems. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.